Hi everyone, this is Forsythia with Cacti and White and welcome to my channel. Today, I have the day off. So what I'm going to do with some time today is go to my front garden. I have an Apuntia cactus that has been infected by or taken over by the cactus bug. The, the, the name of this beetle, if you will, is Chalindia. And I've noticed it on the plant over the last probably two years. Um, and I've been treating it on the regular basis with different types of insecticide, diatomaceous earth, um, but the plant has actually succumbed to the, to the beetle. So I'm going to take you guys with me out front and I'm going to remove part of the plant. Part of it looks okay, but I'm going to take a, look, a closer look at it and see if I need to remove the entire plant or just the part of the plant. We have had a lot of rain over the last few days, so, and it's been, uh, so the ground should be a little soft, but it's kept me out of the front garden. Also, when it was not raining, the temperatures were very, very hot. I'm in North Texas and I didn't want to have a heat stroke out front, so I just decided today is the perfect day. I have the day off. It's an overcast. I don't believe it's too hot. So I'm going to go outside and take a look at that plant and I wanted to take you guys with me. Um, if you find this kind of content interesting, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Um, I have, I believe, 21 followers. So I want to say thank you to all the folks that have hit that subscribe button and following and are following the Cacti on White journey. So let's go outside. closer to take a closer look. And you can see where it's rotted here and the plant's leaning over. I brought out my trusty knife to do the job. Okay, it's a very large plant. I actually saw one of the cactus beetles on it. SOBs. So let's see if we can get in. And I'll show you one of the garments if I can. So basically what they do, they have what's called beaks and they stick the beaks into the cactus plant itself and they suck the sap out of it. And eventually over time, it really you know, the plants can't, the plant really can't handle it over time, even with treating. It's a slow death, if you will. Um, again, I thought I had it under control, but they keep, I saw little nymphs uh, all over the cactus a couple of weeks ago, and I knew it was just a matter of time. And so I'm gonna look, if I can save any parts of the plant, of course I will, which I may be able to, but it's really done a number on this little Apuntia or large Apuntia. So um, I saw a beetle earlier. I was gonna point one out, but I don't see it anymore. There it is under the bottom. Let's see if I can, I don't know if I can get that for you guys. Nah, it's gonna be too hard. I'm gonna see if I can make him come out. So here's the little bastard right here. That's the cactus beetle that I despise. All right, so let me get to work and see what we have to work with here.
cut it off. So I'm gonna move it out the way, the plant part, and see what to do next. So I've separated it. I'm gonna see if I can lift this. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands, so I'm gonna have to stop recording. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this out of the way. So I've removed the plant and you can see ugh, and it smells too it smells horrible i probably could save part of it but i see some other damage here i'm getting that in it's a shadow so i think i'm gonna just discard this unfortunately um it's been in my garden and grown from a little tiny thing um, so I think it's been in the garden probably three three to four years so I'm really sad that this happened um, but it happens you know and this this cactus beetle it it really does a number on a punchias and it's the plant of choice for this particular pest so I'll go in a little closer but you can see it's right I think I'm gonna just cut it out completely um, I thought I could probably save this portion, but it's been damaged so badly by it. You can see the lumps there and the discoloration. So, and it, it actually has been somewhat of a nightmare over the last few years with trying to keep up with treating it and things like that. So I'm gonna do myself a favor and just remove the entire plant. Gardening should be fun right um part of gardening is dealing with pests and and plants that die and things like that so it just comes with the territory so no problem um i will start again and i have some specimens another large specimen or two that i could put in this spot so i think i'm going to do that so i'm going to go ahead and dig this up and then i will show you guys the final removal with the cactus removed so I've uprooted the entire plant as you can see here and here's the hole so I'll cover that fill that back in cover it and then I may put an agave there I'm not sure I have a large yucca that needs a home so I'm not short on a replacement plant. So I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you like it, please consider again hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. I have more videos coming soon. Um, I hope you're having a good day today and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Here's the replacement plant, Agave Perii. I just recently purchased this beauty. It's a small specimen, but they grow really large, so I can always move it if I have something larger that I decide I wanna put there later. But for now, I just needed to fill the hole. Looks great.